Hello again. This is our last lesson on multiplying polynomials, uh, and this is uh, special cases where you have uh, 5x plus 3y times 5x plus 3y squared. Well, I'll explain that. Uh, it's not really that important in terms of multiplying. If you saw the previous lesson, you could probably do this as well. Uh, what it is important for is factoring, though. And uh, factoring is considerably more important. We'll get to that, and that'll be fascinating. That's, in my opinion, very fun. One of the most critical steps of algebra, at least uh, in one particular year. But later on, you do more complex, but factoring is so absolutely critical and so very difficult for students who don't uh, do every single lesson that they're supposed to do. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and do this problem. This problem is not a distribution problem. Uh, you don't distribute the two, and there's a reason why you don't. Some people say, oh, it's 25x squared plus 9y squared. No, 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 no. It's not. If it were a multiplication problem, you could go ahead and do that. It was 5x, 3y, all in one term. Then you could do that. But you can't do it when there's an addition or subtraction separating terms. And that's very simply because if you write this out the long way, in longhand, well, I don't want to, then you're going to get it wrong. So write it out. Write it out twice. Now all you do is you distribute like we did in the previous lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take the 5x times the 5x, 5x times the 3y, and then the 3y times the 5x, 3y times the 3y. So 5 times 5 is 25, and x times x is x squared. 5x times 3y. 5 times 3 is 15, and I have xy left over. 5 times 3, or 3 times 5, is 15 with an xy left over. And I want to write them alphabetically. And then 3y times 3y, 3 times 3 is 9, y squared. Now, there are like terms here. 25x squared, 15xy's plus 15xy's is 30xy's. Plus 9y squared. Now, I, I'll go ahead and say what the relationship is between this and this, but it's just more confusing. Just multiply it out. That's the best way to do it. You take 5x times 5x, 25x squared. You take 3y times 3y, that's 9y squared. And you take 5 times 3xy, and you double it. So 5 times 3 is 15, double it. That's 30xy. That's the relationship. It's actually considerably better when you factor it, uh, that's, that's where it's really useful, but multiplying it, I'm always hesitant to show this to my students because I don't want to confuse them any more than they might already be confused. So, I'm not saying that I think I teach it confusingly, but um, let's, let's be honest, math is very difficult for most students, so you want to try to make it as easy as possible. Next one. Five x subtracted three y in quantity times another quantity of five x minus three y. Distribute twice. Five x times five x. Five x times negative three y. Negative three y times five x. Negative three y times negative three y. There is a relationship here too. Five x times five x is twenty five x squared. Five x times negative three y is negative fifteen x y. And negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 3, 9y squared. Combine like terms. Negative 15xy subtracted uh, plus another negative 15xy. Done. The relationship here is 5x times 5x is 25x squared. Negative 3y times negative 3y is positive 9y squared. Take negative 3 times 5xy, so that's negative 15xy, and double it, negative 30xy. That explanation uh, sometimes goes over people's heads. I just tell them, multiply it out. It's fine. I didn't necessarily get it when I first did it. I just, I just did the problem. And then when I did math more and more, then I kind of noticed the relationship, especially with factoring. But yeah, that's multiplying special cases. That's helpful. Have a good day for now. Bye-bye.